In this video we will talk about how you can write an algorithm to take square roots of any number. It turns out you can do this by using only addition and logical operations. I chose to solve this problem by using successive approximation algorithm. That means that we will be setting bits from left to right and if we overshoot we reset the bit. So we have our number A. In this case it's 121. We want to take the square root of this number. We will call the square root x and we don't know what it is yet. We will also ca calculate x times x or x squared to check against our the number A. So let's do this. We set the first bit, we get an overflow so we reset. We set the next bit, we get an overflow, so we reset. And so on until this bit. We set this bit and we get 64. 64 is less than 121, so we keep this bit set. We set the next bit, we get 144. 144 is larger than 121, so we don't want this bit, so we reset it. We set the next bit, 100 is less than 121, that's okay. And we set the next bit, and we get 121, which is exactly our number A. So the square root of A is 11. So this is how you would do it in C++ code. This is the function i square root, and it calculates the integer square root of any number A. First we initialize the mask and we initialize the result. With every iteration we shift the mask one place. We set the bit in the result. We calculate the square of the result. Now if the square of the result is equal to A we return, return the result. If the square of the result is bigger than A, we reset the bit with the mask M. And we iterate until mask is zero. And there are no more bits to check. This algorithm uses multiplication as you see here. We will now try to get rid of this multiplication and only use addition and logical operations and shifts to calculate our square root. To do this now let's analyze how we calculate the square of a number in the first place. Let's calculate the square of the number 101. You will notice that because we have three zeros here that all these numbers here are zero. And also because we have zero here we have this number to be zero. All that we have to do now is add these gray and black numbers and we will get our square. So 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, which is 1, 0 in binary. So we write 0, carry 1. 0 plus 0 is 0 and carry 1 is 1, and this 1 plus this 0 is 1. Now let's say we were doing our successive approximation algorithm, and we got to this state. Let's say we got to this point, and we calculated the square of this number here. Now what is it exactly that we have to do to this number that we already have, if we want to set this one bit? you will notice that in our table we have this number and this number. If we set this bit, you notice that we get another number here and another bits here. So, all of this that is green we have already calculated and all of that that is yellow we have to add to our previous result 
to get the square of the number with this bit with this new bit set you will notice that this new yellow number over here is exactly the number x shifted by a few places and you will notice that this diagonal yellow number here is exactly the previous number x shifted by a few places So this is the implementation of the previous explanation in C++ code. So we have our current result and we have a square of our current result. This is where we set the bit and instead of doing multiplication on this line we just add two more numbers to our previous result. By the way, this function will take any integer type, like uh, unsigned or long long. And just for the fun of it, we can use the same successive approximation algorithm with uh, floating point numbers. Obviously, the point of all this is doing calculation on microcontrollers where you don't necessarily have uh, library support for this uh, square root function. Talking about microcontrollers, this function can be somewhat easily implemented in assembly. I did this in x64 assembly and in x86 assembly. So that's it for this video. All the code will be uploaded to GitHub for all my videos from now on. Uh, please like, subscribe and thank you for watching.